All right, so I'm gonna line this thing so that the laser beam goes through um, the aperture in the tube. As you can see right now, it's not. Now, what you don't wanna do is redo what you just did. So we already have this polarizing beam splitter set up so that the laser goes directly down the line of the table. We don't wanna mess that up. Um, so the best thing to do is to actually move the electro-optic modulator until, or the or alignment tool for the electro-optic modulator until things go through the hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mess with these two screws. So if I move both, if I screw in both screws, the effect is basically to lift this up you know, piece up. If I screw in only one of them, basically it pushes it over and up. So I can basically have two degrees of freedom to, you know, basically get a two dimensional um, movement of that beam. So let me do that now. So I'll, so I'll move one to lift it to the right, approximately the right position, but in order to get it exactly aligned, what I'll have to do is move the other one. It's hard to do this with a phone in my hand. Now the, the, the aperture on this alignment tool is a little bit smaller than the actual aperture on the EOM, so it's like kind of a worst case scenario. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing to the two other screws to make sure that the beam that is now going in actually comes out. Um, and, you know, newsflash, it's not going to be coming out right now um, because the, you know, the, you know, if your tube is aligned this way, you might go in the entrance to the tube, but you won't necessarily come out the back side. So I'll have to adjust the other two screws on the other side until things come out and basically land on this power meter and, uh, you know, give me enough power that I can actually uh, measure something. So, by the way, it's, pro it's usually a good idea to actually measure what the initial power was. Um, so right now, my power meter says that there's about 37 milliwatts of stuff going into that tube. And, you know, if I put that tube back, so we're still aligned. There's really, like, not a lot coming out the other side right now. So that's 147 microwatts. So virtually none of the stuff that went in came out the other side. Um, so what I'll have to do, I actually happen to have long enough arms that I can do this from this side. So first I need to sort of figure out which direction is the good direction so basically you're just at this point you're just optimizing so you just keep screwing it in until it you know it gets maximized so you know at some point you'll reach a maximum with one screw so you, okay so now it's going back down so what I'll do is I'll come back to the maximum and then do the same thing with the other screw so the other screw so when I turn this screw It'll also change the reading on the power meter. And if you're not in exactly the perfect position, you should be able to go in one of the directions and make the signal bigger. So you basically, you just keep doing that. You just go back and forth and back and forth, moving each one of these screws. And each time, you try and get a slightly bigger signal than the last time. All right, I'm gonna turn off this video because it's kind of a tedious process, but basically you just keep doing that and go around, you know, one, two, three, four screws. Just keep going around the circle and trying to make the, the signal bigger with each pass um, until you get as big of a signal as you can get. So I'm gonna turn this video off and do the rest of that because it gets a little boring.